Okay, good morning, everyone. <laughs> Today we're going to be filming a lesson on probabilities. We would yell, but there's a PSAT class behind us. So as loud as you can whisper, <laughs> this is paradoxical. Yay, map! Yay, map! Oh my god. I feel the air. <laughs> <laughs> so in previous lessons, look, we don't we don't need to we don't need to whisper the lesson, just the screaming. So I will speak normally. Formerly I was the Roman numeral, right? What am I today? What is it called? Happy Roman. Happy Roman. Happy Happy Roman. Roman. <laughs> Dave! Hey, Dave! What's up? Want to play some golf? I bet you I hit the Coliseum. Pop the collar. We're gonna be. We're gonna be. XVII. I'm from Rome. Of course. Come down to the patriarchy as we sip on our. Lemonade, I don't know, preppy drinks, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Lemonade made with the blood of my slaves! The <laughs> blood of my enemies! It's like, I can't, I can't like, reconcile it. Okay, so let's talk about it. We're gonna do some probability work. The first one says what? Not! Not. So we're gonna do all probabilities with not. All probabilities with not. So on a six-faced die, what's the probability of rolling a three? Anyone, everyone, go ahead. One, one, six. Six. one six. Very good. One out of six. That's the probability of rolling a three. So, what's the probability of not rolling a three? Everyone, everyone? Five, five six. six. Very good. Ugh. Oh, so <laughs> fun. <laughs> the Roman preppy. Oh no, I need to stop that accent. I'm, I'm a yeah, man. It's not bad. You know? No, I'm so so the same. Oh, you're right. <laughs> what did you say? Let's have a little fun with this one, yeah. Five, six. You're racing. Yeah, yeah, I want to do it. <laughs> five, five, over six. <laughs> Why not, right? So can you explain in plain English how to calculate when something will not occur in general? Yes, sir. It's the logical opposite of what you've given for the chance of something happening. So say you have one out of six, yeah. you're going to just do uh, out of six, Six minus one. Okay, so there's a minus involved. There is a logical opposite. Can well, we build you on that? The question? the question is, in general, how do you figure out when something does not occur? Can we try here? I guess like the total number of possibilities total number minus of possibilities. the probability of what what's going to happen or what has happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're one step away. Can we add to it? Um, it's just. If you know what the probability is of rolling it, yes. you just know what it's not because it's the obvious. Of okay, so what's the relationship of something happening and not happening? Whatever's not. When you add them both together, you get one for the probabilities. Yes. So you just subtract the amount of possibility, like the the amount of possibilities, I guess, uh, yeah, minus, probability of minus um, yeah. the, the Oh, shoot. It's this is good. We're, we're, we're circling in. We're circling in. And I'm going to build on it. Too. You're right. You're right. Let's, let's build on it. So Do you agree that the probability of something <coughs> happening and not happening always adds to one? Yes, sir. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like either... It's like, it's seven, eight, seven. Have you heard the, the, the trick when people flip a coin? It's like, hey, heads I win, tails you lose. Ding. Heads, I win. And then next time, ding. Tails, you lose. <laughs> Oh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's a trick. Heads I win, tails you lose, sorry! Uh, yeah. So it's a 100% possibility or probability of one that I'm going to win. Either by winning or you losing. It's almost as good as your other trick. So together, right, that was a cool trick. Point toss. Well, yeah. <laughs> I did, I did. That was awesome. I'll teach you. I'll teach you my coin trick. So the possibility of something happening yeah. and not happening adds to one. So the chance of something not occurring, do you agree? is one minus the probability of something occurring. Just think about it. So what's the probability of getting a three? One out of six. One out of six. So the probability of not three equals one minus the probability of getting a three, which is one what? Out one out of six makes oh. five out of six. Oh, there you go. Wait. Yeah. Waiting yeah. happily, I will wait. We got time, we're just sipping lemonade, right? 
Why would it need to go up? <laughs> um, do you agree that anytime you want to get not something, it's one minus the probability of it actually happening? What if you just yeah. go ahead, ask, ask, please. Would it be the same if we just did the like the remain like yeah, what if the remainder minus the probability? You don't realize you're doing it in your head, but you are. But oh. You're right. Yeah, it is the same function. Okay. That together, it's like everything that yeah. one is not, right? But everything that one is not out of six is a subtraction. Six minus one. Can you repeat? Yeah, question here. Why did you write not three? What's the three? Oh, the probability of not rolling a three on a single die. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'll put it in quotes. The probability of not getting a three from the previous problem. So yes. So the P there stands for the probability of it happening. Yeah, probability of happening. Of occurring will go. Okay? Okay, so let's move on. Good job. The probability of drawing a face card in a 52 card deck. So, what are the examples of faces? Jack, Jack, Jack King. Queen, King. King. Jack, Queen, Queen. Wow. How many of each four. are there? Four. Times four. four. So, so, the probability of it happening is 12 out of 52. Simplifies. 3 out of 13. 3 out of 13, divide both by 4 indeed, divide both by 4. Any questions about this is the probability of getting a face card? Yeah. So, anyone, everyone, what's the probability of not drawing a face card? 10 out of 13. So let's go straight out of this. 10 out of 13, bravo. Okay. Do you agree also that this will work with decimals? Can someone with calculations help us? What is the decimal or percent chance of this? Uh, 23%. Yeah. So 0.23, let's say, yeah. which is 23%. 100 minus that, I guess. 100 minus 23%, or what number minus this? Uh, one. 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 Yeah. one minus 0.23, indeed, will always work out. Was that 67 or so? 0.67? No, 7, 77. 76-ish. 76.9, so. 76.9, so about 77. So 0.77 equals 77%. So it works in all forms. The probability of not is <laughs> 1 minus the probability of this. More examples. It helps me when I do examples when I learn this stuff. Let's keep it up. Probability of rolling a 3 or a 4. 1 third. Yes, so 3 out of 4. 6 plus 1 6. Yeah, so there's two chances for success, rolling a three or a four, so that's one third. And then we can go right into it. What about not getting this outcome? Two thirds. Two thirds, two -third. very good. Not is pretty straightforward once you know what's going on. Okay, moving on here. The probability of drawing a face card or a seven. Four out of thirteen. Wow, already. So let's add them up. Face card was how many faces were there? There's Three. 12. 12. Wow. So, yeah, that's after you simplified. I know what you did. You simplified after. It's okay. You're, you're, it's sort of ahead. And then you add the 4. And then you add the 4. Out of 52. 16 out of 52. 16 out of 52. Very good. Divide both by 4. 4 out of 13. 4 out of 13. Who can answer a question? There are 4 sevens. 4 sevens. <laughs> Every each card. Yeah. So, do you agree the, the probability of six, or excuse me, the definition of probability? Is this? Yeah. Yes. So this is the definition of probability, all successful outcomes. So we define success in this case because we're in dealing in card land. It's like, hey, let's be successful and randomly select that okay. if you get a face or a seven, it's a good thing. So we're defining that as success. How many cards would define success in that realm? 16 of them. <laughs> Fair? Yes. There's 16 cards that would constitute success for this problem. And then that simplifies. I feel like there's a rodent scratching the other side of this wall. Do you hear it? Like, no. <laughs> like, yeah. Trying to get out of the PSAT. Yeah. Please. <laughs> <laughs> please. It's like, hey, come on over. We're learning about some Roman prep stuff. I switched to surf mode. I don't know. <laughs> prep is like. Prep is like, 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 hey, hey, John, 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 let's see, Bruce, yeah. Yeah. hey, Gary, Gary, that's like, that's more peppy than Prep. Bruce, Rafe, Rafe, Dax, 
like fun Dax. games. <laughs> Dax, Reef. Let's go play with Reef. 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 I know. Mildred. Super fresh. Uh, and it's, it's like back to 50s. Okay. It's like Trudy. 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 And Doris. Trudy, come on over. We're having biscuits. <laughs> no, then we go to the south for some reason. What's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the board. You know what it is? I think I just. I include everyone in everything. That's my. That's really nice. It's a nice way of putting it. Yeah. I guess, yeah. Give yourselves a hand. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Say bye.